All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today, and it's not on the 2024 editions, but it is on 2025 and the retheming of World Expo, or I should say the retheming of Action Zone into World Expo. Um, so, as you can see, this was filmed today, uh, June 7th. June 7th, let's not fast forward too quickly through summer. Um, they are surveying more in Flight Deck, and now we know where these surveyors are pointing towards the station and theming of Flight Deck is heavily being surveyed along with the footpaths. So that is extremely telling. Um, I'm not going to make any further speculation. I have submitted the videos to my um, engineering friends over in the uh, in the States that have been extremely helpful um, with helping me figure out a few things. Um, so they are running some numbers and running some um, kind of like predictions on the height elevations that you see going on here. Um, and they're going to make a wild prediction on what this surveying could specifically be for for Flight Deck. We have a pretty good prediction when it comes to time warp, considering it surrounds the entire ride. Um, but I will say the survey markings are starting to surround Flight Deck as well. But there is one specific elevation marking that makes us a little curious about Flight Deck. I'm not going to go into details right now, um, as I want to figure out why exactly they're making that elevation um, marking right now, and then we'll make a, uh, a pretty solid prediction on, um, that once we get that information back from my American engineering friend. Um, with that being said, the station is completely marked up and so is the service road. So that is, um, a very good sign, um, that one of two things is happening. So either action, uh, the flight deck theme itself is going, um, as you can see right here in this theming piece, there is a survey marking, um, or the ride is being removed. So it's either going to get a retheme as number one, or number two, it's getting removed along with time warp. Um, so again, I'll go into a lot of details, plus you'll get Mr. Sandwich's opinions on the podcast this Saturday. Um, I also want to apologize to the surveyors if you're in here watching this video. I know how invasive this probably is filming you, um, but that is just my job. I apologize. Um, you can watch the video. I promise you I'm not um, stalking you. I am stalking your work. Um, but with that being said, it really is curious what's going to happen to Flight Deck. Is this Flight Deck's final season? Is 2024 going to be its final season? Again, surveying is not usually for a ride next year. It's for a ride two to three years out. Um, but a flat ride or re-theming could be for next year. So if we're surveying for next year, you're looking at something small like a flat ride, a water slide, um, or a um, re-theme. So again, this could be for next year if it's just a re-theme, or it's for 2025 um, if it's a coaster. Again, um, you got to pay attention to the amount of surveying. So with the amount of surveying, we're going to predict that the entire land being surveyed is for a 2025, 2026, 2027 edition. Um, we're not completely giving up on Whitewater Canyon yet. Um, again, I will be able to tell you guys more information come December. This December, I'll be able to have some really concrete information on 2025. I do know the 2024 editions already. Um, I have started teasing over at Patreon, so definitely go check out my Patreon. And I am protecting that information with my life. I will call out anyone that shares my information as their own from my Patreon, as I can guarantee I am the only one with that information. Um, the little birdies are very specific, um, and I will not allow the little birdie information to pass on to another YouTube channel that does not credit me for that information. Just saying that. I am very protective of this piece of information for 2024 because I have a very specific way of getting it. Um, with that being said, I am still more excited for 2025. Um, I also wanted to say that it's very easy. I, I, I think we can make a wild prediction here that Behemoth will be getting the same color scheme that it currently has. They are repainting the cell tower to Behemoth's colors. Re uh, orange and blue, a really dark blue, which you'll be able to see in a second the top portion of this was done being repainted and a really dark orange as you can see so they were painting it white or priming it is what i'm guessing and then going over top of it 
um, with the dark blue that you see there. So yeah, if they're repainting the cell tower, um, that means I'm assuming Behemoth's colors are staying the same because that was specifically painted to match Behemoth's color scheme. So expect Behemoth's paint job in 2024 to be orange and blue at minimum with maybe some yellow. All right, thanks so much, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's update. I know it's been a while, but this was really packed with information. Have a good one. Bye.